So, uh, why'd you guys come up with the name Nuke Duo? Come well, on, you go ahead for that one. Alright, um, Nathan wasn't actually there when we named the band. Um, <laughs> which is terrible, because there's only two of us. It's the Village Inn, right? Uh, no, actually it was the Atria in Oshawa. Oh. Um, and we knew we had a gig coming up at Murphy's in Oshawa, although now it's called The Hub, I think it's switched names like four times. Um, and I was with a few other people and we were like, well, if Nathan and I are playing, like, we need a name. And the whole like common thing is to squish your two names together. So, and at the time I was drunk and it sounded like a good idea. So, M from Nathan, and then Ook from, from Luke. <laughs> yeah. And there's two of us, so we put duo on the end. So we had the uh, the Nuke duo, 
The only reason Nathan was okay with it, because <laughs> I have three letters, he only has one. But he was okay with it because his letter is capitalized. Yeah, the first one in the big capital. Yeah. I'm fine with so that. So he was alright with that. So, so uh, why do you guys play the music you play? Chicks. <laughs> That's why. No, it's great. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. If it's for chicks, I'm definitely doing something wrong. <laughs> No, no it's, it's a lot of fun. The stuff we play is it's easy for us to continue to do it, difficult for us to learn. It's a bit of a challenge at the start, but once we overcome that challenge, we find it so much enjoyable. It's fun to play. Uh, it's not at the forefront of your mind while you're doing it, so you can enjoy the people having fun, have fun with each other as we jam out, throw each other curveballs, change the song as we go. But number one, it's fun. It's fun to do it. It's fun to rock out. They, it sounds good, and we enjoy it. We uh, we try to pick songs we think that other people will like. We don't necessarily pick our favorite songs, because um, if we did, I'd be singing nothing but Death Cab for Cutie and City in Color, um, <laughs> which are great. Don't get me wrong. I love and the we two play bands. songs by both of them. Anyway. Um, that's good. But we try and pick songs that we know other people will enjoy, because I mean that's kind of what we're there to do is to make other people have a good time. Yeah, that's right. So. Yeah. We take requests when we can, and usually some, we get yeah. about half of them. Some of the songs that we've learned and that we've added like to our repertoire that have stayed there and we've, we've played over and over again are songs that other people are like, it would be really good if you played this song, or I think it would sound good if you played this song, and we've learned a bunch of songs that way. Yeah, next time we'll come back and play that song and request it, and they'll go yeah. with some drunk guy and they'll go, oh yeah, I remember <laughs> So it's, it's good. So yeah. It works like that. So uh, who are your biggest inspirations in making music? Chicks. <laughs> Okay. That's gonna be the answer for every question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you get? For me, uh, I'm gonna get sappy. I'm sorry. Um, I guess my biggest inspiration was my mom. Aww. Mm -hmm. uh, she was the one who got me, who started um, getting me into singing. Yeah, like right. she kind of pushed me into it. Um, not that it's a bad thing. I love it now that I do it. Um, but yeah, and I, uh, she was um, trained, classically trained, and she. she Toured all over the world, actually, the choirs and stuff like that, which is something I learned slightly recently about her. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, she kind of she pushed me into singing when I was very young, and I stopped doing it for a while, but then I got back into it. And she's at almost every gig, and yeah, so I'd say as far as that goes, um, inspiration goes, my mom would have to be up there. Um, as far as bands go, <sighs> what would I pick for you if I knew? Okay, yeah, let's try that. Let's try and pick each other's. If you're just sticking to strictly bands, yeah. you have to almost include the Beatles. Yes. You have to almost include them. They have some part in every every change. But I know who you like. Yeah. I don't know who inspired you to play music, though. I, I wouldn't want to guess the wrong. That's a hard one. Well, I know what for you. you say? I know for you, um, Rush. They play a big part is in, definitely the, in what I do and how I play other songs that even aren't Rush. Nathan, Nathan is the biggest Rush fan I know. <laughs> um, ACDC, I'd have to say. Yeah. For both of us. Like, that's how we first kind of connected, was, um, was we were both really into ACDC. And even like when, um, I know we're a cover band, we also do write a little bit, when it, but when it comes to like lyrics and stuff like that, it's kind of cool knowing that not every song has to be deep, meaningful. Like, it, those, once again, those songs are great, singing color, like every one of his songs is like lyrically beautiful. But you can, you know, you can write songs that are just fun and really have no meaning behind them. They're just ambiguous statements that just don't mean anything. Yeah, perfect. And then to add to that, for me, it's going to sound a little weird, but almost the guitar itself, the instrument itself, is, is a big inspiration to me to see what other guys can do. Steve Vai, guys like Buckethead even. The stuff they can do on a guitar is extremely difficult and I can't do it. And the guitar itself and the playability of the instrument is something that's integral to my interest in continuing and growing and why I picked up the guitar kind of in the first place. Alright, so uh, what's next for the Nuke Duo? Well, we have a gig on Friday. <laughs> yes, we do. We have a gig this Friday. That's what's next. It's all fun. Um, I think right now our biggest, um, what, we're, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to play more places, just to play different places. Um, we got a new gig lined up here in Whitby at Shamrocks, which is like literally around the corner from where we are right now. Um, we'd love to break Toronto. I think Toronto would be a really cool place to start playing. That's kind of um, our next, I guess our next step is to start playing more places. Um, and we're writing original music now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Luke Ooh. had the idea to let's each put out an album. Yeah. He'll have 10 songs, I'll have 10 or so songs. And lyrics and music all invented and written by Luke on his album music and lyrics and all music and lyrics on my album. We have our own ideas. 
use our own ideas, don't bat heads too much, just do it and get it done and get it on record. After that, we know what each other likes, wants, does, and collaborate on future things. But that's the thing, is more, the next step in the short term is definitely more of our original tunes. Yeah. I mean, we've reached a point now, like we've been playing as the new duo for three years almost now. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, the chemistry that we have is too good to not play with each other anymore, mm -hmm. I think. I know what he does well before. We don't look at each other. We know when we're going to stop, go, if he's going to sing another line, stop here. It's, it's very so close. So, moving forward with this original music, we definitely still wanted each other to be involved. Um, it was just... We, we do have very different styles, which I think is what makes us um, yeah. good at what we do, is because we take a little bit from everything. Um, but when it comes to doing something like writing an album, you kind of want to keep things a little bit consistent. So that's why we kind of why we said let's do two separate ones rather than like I'll write six songs and you write six songs and we'll come to the table. Just that way we're not kind of like compromising. Yeah, the whole theme, even the artwork, the album artwork, yeah. song titles, designs. That way it can be, it, it, it. it'll be like this is mine kind of thing. Like it's still we did it together, but it's still like this is this, this is my is ideas mine. and I can show people. Here's what I came up with. You know, so we kind of segued yeah. off that, but yeah, um, <laughs> the original music and definitely I'm um, playing in more cities. That's what we're hoping is next oh, yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, what are your goals for 2015? Massey Hall. <laughs> Air Canada. Sorry. Madison Square Garden. Madison Let's do it. Actually, you know what? That'd be really cool to play a gig in the States. Or the O2. Or go to London. Yeah, or London. Anywhere, actually, would be really cool. That'd be fun. Now, something I'd like to see. I'd love to see... A larger number of people come out to watch us who don't already know who we are and what we do. They <laughs> or see our us, friends or our family. Yeah, they, they see us on a poster, they see us on Facebook, they see our eventual demos which we have recorded and we'll post shortly at some point. But they'll see stuff that we've done, they don't know who we are, but they want to come out to see, hey these guys play music, they might be good, let's go see what they can do and maybe be repeat customers at, at gigs we have in the future. Yeah. Personally, um, I'm actually learning a new instrument right now. Um, and hopefully, I'd like to be good enough by the end of the year to what, be able. Not, no, not this thing. Okay. Not this little dude. What is it? Um, maybe. Yeah. Shh. Oh, yeah. Surprise. Okay. Um, but oh, maybe God. by the end of the year, I'd like to start incorporating that into our gigs. Now that'd be fun. We'd like to, yeah, try and change things up. Yeah. yeah. More instruments. It's, it's only two of us, and the fact that we can play acoustic, electric guitars, percussion while singing, while having that uh, dulcimer. He, he plays a bass drum, wild sings, and has a dulcimer in hand. I try to sing the guitar at the same guitar. time. <laughs> right. So to have, to have more <laughs> instruments and more variety, more layers with only two guys would be really cool for this year as well. I think we also we kind of want to branch off into... Um, it sounds really weird, because we're making it sound like a business. But we'd like to branch off into doing weddings. Okay, other events, other than yeah, just Yeah, like other than just playing at bars, okay. like I'd like to kind of go off like? and... Yeah, I think weddings would be really well, fun. Well, we'll start in August. We right. do, we actually, we do have our first, I forgot about that, our friend asked us to play your wedding. But yeah, I'd like to start doing weddings. Not that's just because that's where the money is, and it's easy to pick up bridesmaids, but... Um, no, it's like, it's a different atmosphere, and people are definitely more in, like, when we play a bar, like, people don't necessarily have to listen to us, nor do we expect them to listen for the entire, we're there for three, three and a half yeah, hours. Yeah, they're enjoying their company, we're in the background. Right, that's every fun, so often right? they'll turn their head and they'll pay attention to what they're playing just, if they know it. Right. But at a wedding, it's you're like, right. hey, you're, 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 you're kind of a good mood, yeah, right? You're, you're kind getting of, married, the whole, the whole evening kind of hinges on how you play and how well you play, so that'd be kind of cool to kind of have that effect over an entire room of 100 right. plus people. Yeah, okay. I like that idea. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, thanks for coming on this, uh, our channel, and uh, it was great having you. Thank you. Thanks, Shane, for having us. Great being here. Eventually, we scheduled a few times. We can make it happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had to reschedule. Yeah, but that was. We finally made it down here. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to ATA TV. <laughs> Click right here, or somewhere in this vicinity. I'm assuming. Say. Over there. Over there. That. I don't know. Right here? We're trying to do a right 2D here? screen on a 3D world. It's not even there right now. They added in. That's post-production. That's impressive. Yeah. ATATV.